I'm sure we've all been in a situation when our ethernet cables come up just short. <sighs> Fear not, because there's a cheap and fast solution to this. They're called ethernet couplers. In this episode from Network From Home, I'm going to be explaining what ethernet couplers are, how to use them, and why you should use them to get the most out of your ethernet cables in your home network. All right, let's start with the basics. Here's what an ethernet coupler looks like. I'll get into how you use them in just a second, but the purpose of these devices is to help you get the most out of your ethernet cables. I'm sure you probably have a few ethernet cables lying around your house that you're not using because they were just too short for what you needed them for. A good example of this is when you buy your router, it usually comes with a short ethernet cable. Well, what if the optimal location for your router in your home is further away from your modem. What you end up doing is you usually throw away that shorter ethernet cable, you buy a longer one, or you go in the reverse direction and you put your router in a less than optimal location. Well, ethernet couplers remove all of that. They allow you to get the most out of all these shorter ethernet cables in your home by allowing you to link them together. Honestly, one of the best parts about ethernet couplers is how easy they are to use. You take your ethernet coupler. If you have two shorter ethernet cables, all you do is you plug one end of the ethernet cable into one end of the ethernet coupler. You have another end of the ethernet coupler, so I'm sure you could have guessed. You just plug the other ethernet cable into the coupler. You now have one much longer ethernet cable as opposed to two shorter ones that you probably weren't using. Once the cables are connected to the coupler here, all you do is you just treat this essentially as one ethernet cable. You plug one end of the ethernet cable into one device, you plug the other end of the ethernet cable into the other device that you want to connect, and there you have it. You have your ethernet connection between the two devices. Another benefit is that you can use multiple couplers if you want. Let's say these two ethernet cables is not long enough for what you need. You can get another ethernet coupler, attach it to the end of this ethernet cable, and then you can add a third length of ethernet cable to further lengthen the strand. So let's talk about some of the benefits of ethernet couplers. Number one, they're plug and play. All you have to do is connect two ethernet cable strands to this coupler and you're good to go. Another piece of good news here is it doesn't matter what category of ethernet cables you connect with an ethernet coupler. As long as they're Cat5e or above, you won't have any problems. As a refresher, if you're not sure what category of ethernet cables you have, I've previously made a video that I will link to up above so you can figure that out and make sure you have Cat5e or above ethernet cables. Another benefit of ethernet couplers is not only are they fast to use, they're cheap as well. From my experience, I've found that it's actually cheaper to buy an ethernet coupler than to buy an entirely new, longer ethernet cable. The last benefit of ethernet couplers is that your performance will not suffer by using them. With that said, there are a few considerations you should be aware of when it comes to ethernet couplers, and I'll be talking about those next. As a side note, if you're already sold on ethernet couplers, I will provide a link down below in the description of ethernet couplers that I recommend. Honestly, it's good to just have a couple of these on hand in your home network because chances are a situation will arise when you need them. All right, back to the considerations that I was referring to. When it comes to ethernet couplers, one thing you should try to avoid is try to avoid using too many of them in one strand. In other words, if I connect five ethernet cables together with four ethernet couplers, you probably won't see any performance degradation, but honestly, I wouldn't use too many more than that. If you have a lot of short strands of ethernet cables, maybe it is better to just get one longer one as opposed to using four ethernet couplers. In situations like that, honestly, it might be cheaper to get a new ethernet cable anyway. The other consideration when it comes to ethernet couplers is that the limitations of ethernet cables as a whole are still in play. What I mean by this is you shouldn't have one strand of ethernet cable 
longer than 328 feet. After that length, you'll start to see performance issues with the cable. The same thing applies if you're using ethernet couplers. For example, if you have one strand of ethernet cable that's 30 feet, you connect it to another strand of ethernet cable that's 50 feet with an ethernet coupler, the total strand is 350 feet, which is longer than what they recommend if you still want to have good performance with your ethernet cables. Other than that, there aren't too many limitations when it comes to ethernet couplers. Feel free to use two or three in the same strand, and it's very unlikely that most people will have an ethernet strand longer than 328 feet, so this usually isn't a problem for most people either. I hope you found this information about ethernet couplers useful. Honestly, this is a newer gadget that I've become aware of. I didn't know these existed, and I'll tell you, I'm sure glad they do. If you have any questions about ethernet couplers and how to use them, please drop a comment below. If you found this video useful, give it a like to make more people aware that ethernet couplers exist. And lastly, if you like my channel and the types of videos that I create, I invite you to subscribe to the channel as well. As always, thanks for checking out this episode from Network From Home, and we'll catch you on the next one.